Okay, so we're having a quick meeting before the assembly, just before November the 5th. And you'll remember, remember why? Something to do with Wombles? Remember Wombles got banned because they were too political, making good use of everything that's just virtual communism. Ah, is it uh, fireworks safety? No, we gave up telling children to be safe, as this generation are more interested in putting a TikTok out, live-streaming some horrible thing. Oh, come on. Year 7 pierces ear with sparkler is hilarious. Well, yes, it is. But this year, we're going to have to make a decision about Guy Fawkes. Oh, right. Guy. Should be changed to be something less male. You know that was his name, not his gender-specific label thingy. It's just, I know that November the 5th celebrates a terrorist act failing and the gunpowder plot going wrong, but I feel it's a bit one-sided, isn't it? No, you see, the fact is, that guy, I mean, guy, failing, is a symbol not of a man, or whatever, winning, but that if you don't first succeed, you get hung, drawn and quartered. Is that what happens to him? I forgot. That's so cool. Maybe I could include that as part of the biology assignment I was going to set for class five. I was thinking this year, skip fireworks and go straight to Christmas. Isn't that celebrating an oppressive controlling force that blinds the masses by a yearly indulgement of materialism and hollow spiritual fakery? Yes, but we have been given a bigger budget for the nativity this year. Not a real donkey. Sort of. Well, it's a bit on its last legs, and if it doesn't make it past November, you could use it in your biology class. Yeah, sorted. And now all we've got to worry about is Easter, where the vegans will eat chocolate eggs. That's not a thing, is it? <laughs>